Struggling with blood sugar levels, ready to shed those extra pounds effortlessly? Look no further. Sugar Defender, the number one rated blood sugar formula, is here to transform your health and help you achieve your wellness goals. Click the link in the video description to get started with Sugar Defender today. Shocking CCTV footage shows teenagers buying fireworks which they later used to kill a grandmother. Josephine Smith, 88, died of smoke inhalation as a result of a firework being posted through her letterbox by Callum Dunn, then 15, and Kai Cooper, then 18. The pair went on a rampage through Harold Wood, East London and through fireworks at drivers and businesses, before posting one through Josephine's front door. Josephine, who was hard of hearing, remained asleep in her bed at her home in Romford, Essex, and was found dead from smoke inhalation hours later. The teenagers were convicted of manslaughter and Dunn was sentenced at the Old Bailey to three years and eight months in prison, while Cooper was handed five years. They were sold the fireworks by Mark Vardy, 59 in October 2021, who gave them the products after being told they wanted to throw them in people's faces. CCTV footage from Fireworks For You shows Vardy recommended them to buy air bombs after one of the teenagers said they planned to throw fireworks at police. Vardy, of Westcliff on Sea, Essex, was given a 12-month suspended sentence earlier this month after pleading guilty to two counts of selling fireworks to a 15-year-old. He repeatedly failed to hand over the incriminating CCTV to police and his son Luke Vardy, 29, handed over only snippets with no audio. Josephine's son Alan, 55, says he asked the police to release the footage so people can see the level of irresponsibility shown by Mark Vardy. Alan said, it was important to us as a family that the police released this footage. We wanted the wider community to see the level of irresponsibility shown by Mark Vardy that night and why it was that he ended up in court. He was supposed to be a responsible adult and certainly should have known better and known the risks involved with such an irresponsible sale. He didn't sell those fireworks to those kids by accident. The boys told him exactly what their intentions were. Josephine's family want the age for buying fireworks to be increased to 21, and for a minimum spend of 50 pounds to be imposed. They also want more regular checks on fireworks vendors, to make sure they are acting responsibly. Allen said, this should discourage irresponsible youths from purchasing individual fireworks to cause mayhem. The youths that took mum's life bought 10 mega burst fireworks for £8.99. These are essentially small bombs. It makes no sense to me that this was possible.